Hello, this is Patrick, AK9FJ, with the Stanislaus County Amateur Radio Emergency Services. Today we're going to look at the sound card calibration that needs to be done after the install of uh, FL Digi. Although this isn't required, it's recommended. Um, sound card oscillators uh, may not may have a slight error in frequency that may cause the uh, sampling rate to be just off a bit and uh, you need to do a correction so to do that you, you have to calibrate your, your sound card so you can do that pretty easily with a, um, a little utility called uh, Check SR and that's uh, what we're going to look at today as well as maybe some of the audio levels uh, that your sound card should be set at or may need to be adjusted uh, to um, for FL Digit to work um, optimally so uh, first to get the uh, the uh, little utility we do provide it on our website you do need to be a member of our uh, Aries group to get to this particular um, digital tab on our website you need to log in um, but if you don't uh, if you're not a member and you're watching this uh, uh, video then you can uh, still get the um, utility which is which is where I got it um, it's not our utility it's uh, I got it from the Western Pennsylvania um, website, MBEMS MB uh, website, and this is their um, their link right here, uh, www.pa-siterep.com. Um, matter of fact, if you go back to this page down here, um, to their main page, it. Uh, um, brings up uh, their their main site with a lot of great information um, I recommend you check that out uh, you'll see us uh, notice a little pop-up box down here it's just trying to install some uh, um, Java um, uh, add-ins plugins and uh, whatnot uh, that's why you see this stuff here X'd out um, I just don't have that on my system that's why you're seeing that so not to worry um, you can go ahead and get it installed on yours and, and it'll be fine but you don't need it to get to this page and look at some some of this great information but the calibration is what we're looking at right here um, so you can grab the uh, as you see right here is a link to the uh, check sr.exe that's what you're going to want to grab uh, this page also has some good information on how to uh, um, set the uh, use the use the program and, and set the uh, offset um, and the correction for your uh, sound card so I'm going. Well, I'll just go ahead and grab it from here since I'm here. Uh, you just click on that. It's executable, so it's going to want to save to your uh, downloads folder. I'll let it do that. It's very small and it's uh, already completed downloading. So we'll close that out, and we're going to close this tab. And uh, I'll go ahead and close my browser. So um, I'm going to go ahead and first I'll launch FL Digi to show you what we're going to be adjusting and setting. Um, as you can see, well, as you can see right off, the waterfall is really dark yellow, and we're going to look at that in just a moment. Um, uh, that need, means that our sound card needs to be adjusted, um, our sound input. Uh, but if you go up to configure and drop down here and go to your sound card selection, brings you to this tab right here, which shows you your sound card uh, settings. And under the um, settings tab right here, is where we're going to be um, uh, making our adjustments and it's going to be basically uh, in this uh, RX PPM and TX PPM it's parts per million um, of correction those are the two values that we need to look uh, find for our sound card um, uh, in your system your sound card in the system you're using once you do this one time um, for this sound card you're good unless you change sound cards um, if you know, and so you, don't, you shouldn't have to worry, worry about it again. And I am using the Signalink uh, USB um, uh, sound card device, and uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, set it up for that. Um, I'm going to close this out so we're not running stuff in the background. Um, and go to my Downloads folder, and there's the uh, CheckSR.exe program. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just run it and launch it. You don't have to install it. You just run it. It runs uh, independent. I'm going to close that out. So now we have just the window. And as you can see, the default sound card set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my uh, select my particular input and output uh, for my well not that I'm using, which is the USB uh, audio codec. Um, sampling rate. Um, I've read different things about sampling rates and how you should set these up. And um, I'm going to go ahead and leave default. And if the default works for you, great. If not, you may have to um, select something else. Uh, the 12,000 I've read that it's it's a it's a fine setting, a good setting. Um, you know, it it just depends. If you have a lot of issues with your sound card, then um, with you not being able to make uh, copies, then I would look at changing the sampling rate. But we're going to leave it for this uh, for this demo. We're going to leave it just where it is. And to do uh, to to run the test, all you do is click the start um, and uh, let it run. Now it rec they recommend you run it for 15 or 20 minutes. Um, here's the difference: the part per million that we're looking at, the two values, and you can see, as you can see, they're fluctuating quite a bit. And the sampling rate, so we're looking at the 11,000 uh, uh, kilohertz, or 11,000 hertz uh, sampling rate, um, and you can see the numbers, last several numbers here, they're fluctuating quite a bit. Basically, what you're doing is waiting till those settle down um, somewhat. Now they're not going to completely settle down and not change, but you're you're looking for minimal. Uh, minimal uh, fluctuation there. So we're just going to let that run um, for about 15 minutes or so um, and we'll uh, come back to the, uh, I'm going to let this go and I'm going to come back to the uh, video when we're uh, when we're done. So we'll just uh, be right back. Okay, it's been about uh, 15 minutes, almost 15 minutes now, and uh, as you can see, the the settings, the sample rate has settled down quite a bit. The five, this last here, is staying pretty steady, um, and just just these uh, hundreds and uh, hundreds of settings that are going. So that should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And then you want to um, pay attention to the uh, input and output uh, difference here. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over just a little bit so it's open and uh, launch FL Digi. I guess I'll need to slide it just a tad more. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the um, sound card settings tab right here. And then your um, uh, input and output will go here. Uh, let's see here. So your in input is you receive, the output you transmit, so 59, 59, and then over here, 68, 68, save that, and that's really all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and uh, close that, and close that to get those out of the way. So that's uh, that's really all there is to the uh, setting that up. One other thing you might want to look at, let's go ahead and get that back open and take a look and make sure that held. Um, then we'll come back down here and right there and it did. So good. Um, so another thing let's take a look at today is notice the waterfall all yellow. That's uh, just it's receiving too much noise. Right now I've got it uh, set to our FM um, uh, 145.110. It's our, our repeater we're going to be using for the Aries group here for FM uh, digital um, communications uh, using FL Digi. And um, I've noticed that if I go to, say, the uh, HF, um, and let's pop over to 20 meters there. Typically is 14.0070. You can see the uh, waterfall changed. Uh, a lot of that yellow went away. So between the um, 
uh, HF and then F, you know, the UHF uh, or VHF, it's um, the sounds, of it, you know, it, what, what the sound comes in is a little different. The sound settings are going to be a little different, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, as you can see here, there's a huge signal there, and it's pretty, actually, a little too strong. Um, it's a PSK31. If you take a look at that here. Um, it is coming in fine, though. You can see it's, it's uh, uh, bringing in the signal, and uh, it's copying the waterfall and the transmission. But the point I was trying to make here is that um, the settings between your FM and your HF bands are going to be a little different. So you may have to adjust those. Now if I go back to uh, 145.110, um, you can see it came back all yellow again. So, th so some setting changes uh, for the uh, sound card and the settings are going to need to be adjusted a bit. Um, I'll go ahead and clear that out. If you right click anywhere up here and you can clear out, and that's just part of the uh, usage of the uh, the interface uh, for FLDG. We can go into that in a different uh, uh, different video. But that's too much right here for FM. So we're looking at the uh, uh, for using using FLDG on our FM uh, repeater and some and simplex. Uh, so we're going to need to do some changes. One thing you can look at is your if you go down to your uh, speaker settings. Um, and your play your recording devices. Here's the uh, microphone uh, recording device. A lot of stuff coming in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna select that and go to properties, and then go to the levels. Um, it's quite high at 86. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down a bit. I've found either anywhere from 25 to 50 um, on the setting is better. Um, is, uh, and so also I'm gonna choose about 27 there. And just say okay, and it could be it'll be different on every system. And we're going to leave that as is, but you still see it went down a little bit, not quite as much as I want. Um, the other thing you can adjust is the uh, USB signal link. It's the uh, USB sound card. So there's settings for trans transmit and receive here. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the receive. I'm going to do the receive all the way down to zero. And as you can see, the waterfall just disappears. So that's obviously too much. And as I bring it up, and I mean I'm just bringing up very, very little, you know, in that area is what you're looking at, something like that. Um, and it's going to be a balance. You're going to have to adjust this a little bit. Um, and I've got it maybe um, an eighth of a way up, and it's maybe a little it's a lot better maybe too much I may want to drop that down a little more another way area you can adjust is the upper signal level and or the signal range if you click in on that you can use these right and left arrow buttons to adjust it. and as you adjust it you can see that waterfall sound um, scatter it's going away a little bit and that's actually looking pretty good you can also, uh, if you have a scroll but uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll up and down by clicking in there. So that's not too bad. That's looking good. Um, you can also adjust some of the range here. That, and if I go down, you can see it start to go away a little bit. So between your sound card uh, settings on your onboard recording device and this setting here, these levels between here and between your uh, upper signal level and your signal range adjustments and as well as if you have the USB or the any other on uh, outside um, USB type sound card device um, between all those and, and this here you can you'll you need to you know get the right adjustment just w looking for a nice uh, blue a little bit of yellow is okay um, uh, on the waterfall. So basically looking for something like this um, without too much yellow and you should be good to go. And that's pretty much it for sound card uh, adjustments and the uh, sound card calibration. And that's about it. I appreciate you watching the video. This is Patrick AK9FJ73.